What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. And girl, I want to show you how I got this popping Flexi Rod set. And the products I use was cream of nature, girl. It is time to prep my hair. I will be doing this style on blown out hair. So first, I went ahead and used cream of nature with argan oil, sulfate-free moisture and shine shampoo, which helps hydrate and detangle. And then right after that, I used their intense conditioning treatment. It helps with strengthening the hair and it also helps with preventing hair breakage, which is perfect because I will be blowing dry my hair. After leaving that in for about 15 minutes, I went ahead and grabbed their new Heat Protector Smooth and Shine Blowout Cream. It helps protect against heat damage up to 450 degrees. It soothes the hair and also controls frizz. I will be doing the tension method as you already can see. So I like to stretch out the hair first and then I'll use the blow dryer to help me straighten it out a little bit more. As you all know from the previous video that I am minimizing the use of heat. So what I did for this blow out, see, I'm always dropping something. Pick it up now. There it is. All right. So what I did for this blow out is that I went ahead and stretched it. And let me show that to you really quick. So I'll go ahead and detangle a section, working from the ends, going all the way up, taking my time. And then I'll go ahead and smooth it out with the brush and holding it taut all the way to the ends. So to get this hair dry, I did start off on a cool setting and then I switched over to the medium heat and then I went back to the cool setting. So you may say, Janae, that's a lot to be doing, but that is what I decided to do for this blowout and I got great results. Alrighty, we are about to do this flexi rod set on this blowing out hair. My hair feels really good, nice and fluffy. As I mentioned to y'all, I will be doing at least a blowout style once a month, and so this is my one for the month. And um, I like the blowout cream. I'll be using Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco Style and Shine Foamy Mousse, right here. I have a couple of different color flexi rod sets, but they are all the same size. I am a perm rod set lover, so I have plenty of perm rods. But when it came to flexi rods, they're a little low. So I have this much that I'm working with today. So we will be doing a nice heatless wand curl effect with these flexi rods. And if you just want to call it a, a flexi rod set, you can just call it that. But all right, girl, let's get started. So I'm gonna start in the back, and of course, I'm gonna pull all of this out my face. Okay. Okay. All right. It's new, so you know you gotta pump it out. But yes, this is why I like this style on phone. Like, look at this. This consistency is on point, okay? So I used about two pumps. It seemed like more than that because it was a brand new bottle, but I distributed it throughout my hair. Not too much, because we don't want it to revert. Head and secure the end, okay? Oh, excuse you. Secure the end and go up the hair in a windmill motion. But we're really spacing it out as well. If you can see that, that color situation. That's why I like that they're bright, nice and bright. And get as close as you can to the root without losing your edges and your nape. And then we're gonna go ahead and... Also, I wanted to add that if you want to put a leave-in conditioner on your hair before you start to add the flexi rods, that's definitely an option. I like, of course, the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. I told you guys that in one of my product stash videos. So you can go ahead and add that first all throughout the hair and then work on the flexi rods. Here's a common thing that a lot of people do when they try to do the windmill motion. Once they get towards the root, they keep twisting it and twisting it. So once you see that your hair is doing that motion right there, where it almost looks like a, I don't know if you want to call it a faux lock or something like that, you're going to stop and just roll it towards the root. And then you're going to secure it right there. So right where the hair is on top. And then I like to do it in a press motion or just have them overlap when it comes to securing it so that it can lay flat. So if I wanted to go to bed, I don't have any problems or if I wanted to get under the hooded dryer, I'm not struggling as well. So as you can see, when I was trying to lay that piece of hair on the flexi rod, I'm making sure it's nice and secure. So if you have to add a little bit of gel or some more styling foam, go ahead and do that. 
and then you're gonna wrap your own hair on top of it so that it can stay in place. And then you'll begin to do the windmill motion. And once again, once you get to the top, secure it right in place. And like I said, for me, I like to leave those gaps open because it's gonna give me more of a looser curl and give me more of a wine curl shape compared to a typical flexi rod or perm rod curl. My hair is all dry. When taking your rods down, do you know take your time, be careful with it because you don't want to cause any unnecessary frizz. So the same way you apply the rod to the hair, you're gonna do it in the opposite motion and you should have curls like this. And then after taking my rods out, I said, which oil do I wanna use? So I went ahead and grabbed Creamy Natures with Argan Oil from Morocco Oil Treatment. It's a nice light oil that you can use throughout your hair before you start separating it. Per section, I like to separate it at least five to seven, six, ten times. <laughs> and um, just to get as much volume as I can. And as you can see, the hair is coming towards my face and that's what I want it. So when you are putting your flexi rods in, make sure that you are laying them in the direction that you want them to fall. Okay, girl. So we're just separating and separating. So it definitely took me a minute to separate my curls, uh, at least 10 minutes to separate them because I'm very particular. I like to get all the curls separated. And then you go ahead and fluff it on out. And these are my results. I definitely like how my hair is looking, especially with the color. Now, if you're saying, well, Janae, I don't want to actually blow out my hair. Well, you can go ahead and still use their Heat Protector Smooth and Shine Blowout Cream. Go ahead and twist up your hair and then let it air dry. And then go ahead and do your Flexi Rod Set. Because even when you are doing your hair, you may still want to sit under the dryer. So this blowout cream will still protect your hair while you're under the hooded dryer. Be sure to check out www.creaminature.com so you can find a local store near you so you can get your hands on some of this new, new by Cream of Nature. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And girl, one more thing. If you plan to try out this style, let me know down below. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace.